Nag, nag, nag. Who's that, son? Her most esteemed, high and mighty. I'm 4,823,126 and a half in line to the Empress of Russia. Lady Cruella Granula. Some of your humanoids would put it her in bonds. Oh, by George, not that Cruella Granula. Some of your humanoids would put it her in bonds. By George, not acrimonious, is it, sir? Why don't we have as many servants as Star Strider 60? Why did you sit back when they banned grunder hunting? You know how I enjoyed the grunder meat. Why do we travel in van scan hypers while Star Strider 60's wife floats around in cars mega cruisers sipping chilled nag juice all day long? Every relationship has its ups and downs, sir. I wouldn't mind a prolonged spell on this earth place, Wart. The climate suits the old humanoid form. Yes, sir. This is Walt, and who are you? My name is Anthony, and I go to Temple College School in Oxford. My team members are Alison, Alan, and Lynn. My name is Andrew. I go to Park Middle School, Staffordshire. My team members are Paul, Robert, and Lisa. My name is Paul. I go to Morecambe High School in Lancashire. My team members are Neil, Susie, and Richard. <laughs> The Galactic Federation has prepared a series of tests for you. We will be asking you some questions. You will notice that you have all been given an intercommunication system through which answers can be given to your team commanders. Walt. Your courage will be tested later when one from each team is selected to ride Star Strider's dreaded Grand Hunt. Your special awareness will be examined when the team commanders are forced to walk the light lane. But first we'd like to see how well you can cooperate with each other. Each team has a library of your world's finest reference books. All the answers to our questions are in these books. The backup teams must hit their fire buttons as soon as they have found the answers. The team commanders must do the same, but only they can give the answers. And I will award 20 Federation star rays for each correct answer. An incorrect answer will mean... 20 Federation star rays for the other two teams. And the first question is... Where did the famous composer Sir Edward Elgar die in 1934? Where did the famous composer Sir Edward Elgar die in 1934? Yes. Worcester. Correct. What is Mrs. Margaret Thatcher's middle name? Yes. Hilda. Correct. Very well done. In which Scottish county are Keith and Keith Hall? In which Scottish county are Keith and Keith Hall? K-E-I-T-H Hall. Yes? Grumpian. That is correct. How many number one hit records have ABBA had? How many number one hit records have ABBA had? Yes? 
Nine. That is correct. What's the last line of the Star Spangled Banner, the national anthem of the USA? I thought of a good reference question. Yeah, yes, what is it? What is purple and what's to rule the world? No, I don't know. Alexander the Great, sir. Hmm. Any relation to Attila the Bun? A squeeze. I'll take a biscuit. Yes? Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. That's correct. Who was the founder of the Christian Science Movement? Who was the founder of the Christian Science Movement? Yes? Mary Baker Eddy. That is correct. Who was Sir John William Alcock's companion on the first non-stop flight across the Atlantic? Who was... Yes? Brown. Yes, Sir Arthur Whitton Brown. That's correct. Which British athlete won the World Trampolining Championship in 1972? That is correct. From which country originally did Thug come from? How did an elephant come down a tree, sir? sir? I don't like elephant jokes, Walt. Sorry, sir. Well, how does an elephant come down a tree? It stands in a leaf and waits for autumn. You need a holiday, Walt. T-H-U-G-S. Founded by Sir Thomas Stamford Raffles in 1819. This is the last question. What was founded by Sir Thomas Stamford Raffles in 1819? R A S S L E S. Thomas Stamford Raffles. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and the answer is Singapore. That's the end of that round. Well, that was very impressive, Ward. Oh, yes, sir. I told you there was intelligent life on Earth, sir. Now, what's the score, then? The Oxfordshire team in the red colour have a 40 Federation star rays, and the Staffordshire team in the blue colour have a 60 Federation star rays, and the Lancashire team in the green colour have 80 Federation star rays. Lancashire are in the lead. <laughs> I want now to test the individual Earth general knowledge levels of the team commanders. So would the team commanders take off their intercoms, please? There will be ten Federation star rays for each correct answer. Again, I must warn you, an incorrect answer will mean... And ten Federation star rays for the other team. And the first question is, when a group of people are called a congregation, in what sort of building would you expect them to be? Yes? A church. That is correct. Of which country is Bonn the capital? Yes? West Germany. That's correct. Over which English river is the world's longest suspension bridge? The Humber. That is correct. Which American president was assassinated in Dallas, Texas? Yes? Kennedy. That's correct. In which sport might competitors use a foil or an epee? Yes? Fencing. That's correct. What's the name of the custom of some animals of going to sleep for the winter? Yes? Hibernating. Correct. In the old expression to throw down the gauntlet, meaning to challenge someone, what exactly was a gauntlet? Yes? An iron glove. That's correct. Which pop group had hits with every little thing she does is magic and spirits of the material... Yes? Please. That's correct. If you multiply 13 by 13, what's the answer? Yes? 169. Oh, that's correct. In Coronation Street, which of the characters runs a factory that makes clothes? Yes? Mike Baldwin. Correct. 
You've heard of the city of Gloucester, of course, but what is double Gloucester? Yes? True. Correct. If somebody described you as a pocket Hercules, what, what would they mean? They would mean that you were small but very strong. Which city is the capital of Greece? Yes? Athens. Correct. What colour clothes were supposed to have been worn by Robin Hood's followers? Yes? Green. Correct. What is cooked in Yorkshire pudding to make toad in the hole? Yes? Sausages. Correct. What name is given to a young swan? Yes? Big neck. Correct. How many people are needed to form an octet in music? Yes? Eight. Correct. What are Holloway, Parkhurst and Wormwood? Yes? Prison. Correct. In which sport do England and Scotland play for the Calcutta Cup? Yes. Football. Uh, that's not strictly true. It's rugby football. Who wrote the famous novel Wuthering Heights about Heathcliff and Catherine Earnshaw? The answer is Emily Bronte. Which fictional character from Peru is extremely fond of Mar... Paddington Bear. Correct. Which of the planets of our solar system has the same name as Mickey Mouse's dog in the cartoon? Yes? Pluto. Correct. What is similar about the appearance of a leopard and a Dalmatian dog? Yes? Spot. Correct. What name is given to the kind of factory in which crude oil is turned into petrol? Yes. Refinery. Correct. What name is given to a group of newly born puppies suggest scraps of... Yes? Letter. That's correct. And that's the last question. If you called someone a water, what would you mean? I don't know. It would be small but very strong. Mm. Huh? Scores must be close. What? Uh, what are they? Oh, yes, sir. The Oxfordshire team in the red colour have 120 Federation star rays. The Staffordshire team in the blue colour have 150 Federation star rays. And the Lancashire team in the green colour have 150 Federation star rays. <laughs> Thank you, Watt. Prepare the Grunder Hunter. The Grunder Hunter is one of the most difficult and dangerous beasts to ride in the entire universe. We have now heard from our Emperor Ulf who will ride for each team. For the red team, Lee Barrett. For the blue team, Lisa Shenton. And for the green team, Susie Robertshaw. Would those three people please make their way to meet Watt, who will be asking the questions while the rides are in progress. Ten Federation star rays for a correct answer, no star rays for an incorrect answer. Thank you, Watt. And now it's Grunder Hunter question time. Nah! <laughs> Bring more, Mr. Fox. Chosen one. Yes. Munch, the Grunder Hunter. Hey, on. Right. Grand Hunter, hunt. Here's your question. Where are the Rocky Mountains? Where are the Rocky Mountains? South Africa. Pardon? South America. Correct. Is the sun made of hot gas or molten rock? Hot gas. Correct. If you are ambidextrous, what does it mean? I don't know. It means you can use either hand. Is a litre more or less than a pint? More. More. Correct. It's 1,000 pints. What do the letters GP stand for in medical terms? General practitioner. Correct. Stop. Dismount. The next chosen one. Yes. Ah. Up. Up. Mount. Are you mounted? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Get on. Come on. Up again. Are you sitting comfortably? Right. Begin hunting. Here's your question. What is a penny farthing? A money. Money, no bicycle. How old? How old do you have to be to vote? Eighteen. Correct. What did your office take care of? Your feet. Correct. What's grown in the paddy field? Cabbages. Cabbages, right. Does a giraffe have horns? Yes or no? <laughs> yes. Pardon? Yes. Correct. Stop the gun, Hunter. Bring on the next chosen one. Don't forget. Ah! Ah! Are you on? 
And there we are. Right. Stop hunting! In the north! In the north! The god Woden, or Odin, gave his name to it, save the world! And the correct. If I started singing Walter Matilda, apart from being sick, which country would you think of? Australia. Correct. What is the Portuguese man of war? Portuguese man of war, what is it? It's an ass. A jellyfish. Where is the scorpion sting? What? Where is the scorpion sting? In his tail. If I needed a glass of it, troll, which I do need, what would I want? Water. Correct. Stop the gun, answer. Just mount. Go back and join your team. Give me some H2O. <laughs> Will we make the last one? <laughs> the Grunder Hunter is getting the better of what? He gave one answer as South America, when of course it should have been North America. I have now calculated that Temple Cowley School from Oxfordshire have 150 Federation Star Rays, Park Middle School from Staffordshire have 180 Federation Star Rays, and Morecambe High School from Lancashire have 180 Federation Star Rays, which means we still have a tie. And now we put the team commanders under maximum pressure. Fire down the gamma rays, warp. There are parts of the universe where life forms must rely totally on the advice of their colleagues. The light maze is a simulation of such a place. Each commander is effectively cut off from reality when they don the cyber helmet. They must rely totally on the advice of their backup team. Ten Federation star rays for each colored light reach. Ten to the other two teams for each white light stepped into. Would you lead out the first commander, please walk. All right, Team Commander Anthony, I'll lead you onto the light maze, place you on your square, and your team have one Earth minute, starting from now! Anthony, turn left. Forward. Stop. Turn left. Forward. Take one step. And you've landed on the red square, that's ten Federation Star Rays for your team. team. Anthony, go um, turn left slightly. Forward. Stop. Turn left. Forward. Stop. Turn right. Forward. One step. Stop. And you've landed another. That's another ten Turn right. Star Rescue Team. Forward. Stop. Turn left. Forward. Forward. Slightly left. Forward. Stop. Forward. Forward. Stop. Turn left. Forward. Land another ten. About ten. ten. About ten. About ten. About ten. Forward. And that is the end of your go. Well done. And now we get the next team commander. Right. Andrew. Team commander Andrew from the blue team. I'll take you on to the light maze. And you have one earth minute starting from now. Left. Forward. Stop. Left. Right. Right. Forward. Stop. And you've landed on a red square. That's ten Federation star rays for your team. Forward. Stop. Forward. Forward. Stop. And you've landed on another red square. That's another ten Federation star rays for your team. Left. Forward. Forward, forward, forward. Stop, stop. To the left. Slightly to the left. Slightly. Forward. Slightly to the left. Uh, left. Forward. Forward. Stop. And you've landed another left square. That's another ten division point. Sorry, excuse me. At the end of your round. Right, team commander Paul. I'll lead you onto the light maze and place you. And your backup team have one federation. Have one Earth minute starting from now. Forward. Stop. Turn left. Forward. Stop. And you've landed on a red square. That's ten Forward. federation star rays to your team. Stop. Turn left. Forward. Forward. Stop. Sli slightly to your right. Turn. Forward. Stop. Uh, to your, slightly to your right. 
And you've landed on another red square. That's Tennis Federation Turn Barry, if you'd right. Forward. Forward. Stop. Turn to the right. To your right. And you've landed on another a red square. That's another left, left. Federation Turn star left. rescue team. Forward. Stop. And you've landed on yet another a red square. That's Turn right Federation round. Star rescue team. Forward. Stop. Turn right. Forward. Stop. And that is the end of the round. Thank you very much. You know, Ward, I mean, it's one thing to get left and right wrong, but North and South America, I mean, what's the score, Ward? Uh, yes, sir. Well, the scores are the Oxfordshire team in the red colour have 190 Federation star rays, yes. the Staffordshire team in the blue colour have 210 Federation star rays, and the Lancashire team in the green colour have 220 Federation star rays. Very good. And now we enter the last critical phase in Earth's general knowledge test for team commanders only. Ten Federation star rays for each correct answer. An incorrect answer will mean... Ten Federation star rays for the other team. And the first question is, which general invaded Britain with his army in 55 BC? Yes? Julius Caesar. Correct. Of which country is Lisbon the capital? Yes? Portugal. Correct. What does the word revali mean to soldiers? It means it's time to get up. In which country would you see inlets along the coast called fjords? Yes? Norway. Correct. From which city do the football teams Rangers and Celtic? Yes? Glasgow. Correct. Which television cartoon character has an, assist an assistant called Penfold? Yes? Danger Mouse. Correct. Which game are Jimmy White and Tony Mio? Yes? Nika. Correct. In the human body, what is the epidermis? It's the skin. At what sort of activity are David Bailey and Patrick Litchfield experts? Yes? Photography. Correct. In which war were the battles of Naseby and Marston Moor fought? Yes? The Wars of Roses. No, the English Civil War. In which state of the USA are Sacramento and Los Angeles? Yes? California. Correct. What was the name of Robin Hood's girlfriend? Yes? Maid Marian. Correct. What are always kept at a distance of four feet, eight and a half inches apart in Great Britain? Railway lines. Correct. Which European country has Prague as its capital? Yes. Slovakia. Correct. A very large what might today be described as a juggernaut? Yes? No. That's the last question. That's correct. That was an excellent test board. Very close all the way through. Very exciting, sir. Yes. What's the final score, Ward? Morecambe High School from Lancashire ending with 230 star rays. Mm -hmm. Temple Cowley School from Oxfordshire collecting 260 star rays. But Park Middle School from Staffordshire win with the juggernaut answer giving them 270 star rays. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. Exciting test ward? Yes, sir. You're not your usual chirpy little self? No, sir. You're not getting too close to the little humanoids, are you? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. It's just that... What ward? I wish all the little humanoids could win, sir. Ah, uh, well, you don't get to stride stars that way, Walt. I suppose not, sir. I must say, I'm beginning to like this earth place now. Oh, so am I, sir. So am I. <laughs> <laughs>